Hey there, this is Oasis Camper Vans, van number 67, 2021 Toyota Sienna XLE all-wheel drive, and it's super tricked out. Let me show you what we did to it. So the kitchen is our standard style of kitchen for the classic build. It's got walnut face frame and drawer fronts, a maple butcher block countertop, five gallons of fresh water, five gallons of gray water, folding table, um, the water runs off of an electric pump, battery powered, so it's hands free. Two soft closed drawers. This one has the owner's manual in it that we put all of the receipts and manuals for the appliances into. It's got a 25 liter Dometic fridge that runs off of one of the two Jackery batteries. It has two because she's got more electric electronics in here than the typical van does. Underneath the kitchen is a lot of storage space where those third row seats came out. So that's standard in our builds. If we take those rear seats out, there's storage space there. Um, space for a Coleman stove in here. She's providing her own, so we just built it to the dimensions of that. And one of the newer things that we did on this van, which is cool, is installed this two inch hitch here. And it's not your standard hitch that just rides under the bumper cover. It's actually inside the bumper cover, and what that allows is for a lot more clearance between the bottom of the hitch and the ground, so that if you have a swing away bike rack, it's not going to drag on the ground as easily. And we did something else to this van to make that um, clearance a lot higher, and that's that we added three inches of lift with the Journeys Off-Road Lift Kit. So this van has three inches of lift on it and uh, the most high clearance hitch that's on the market, the torque lift eco hitch. Uh, back here we also installed these LED lights that are running off of the DC power in the, on the Jackery battery. So this here is the dimmer switch and up in the trim over the kitchen there are two LED lights that are dimmable and there's another two in the headliner further forward that run off of another switch. All right, now that we're done with the kitchen, I'll show you the living room. Living room has different cushions than we normally put in the Sienna. It's got a fake leather rather than the fake suede, and this is just a lot easier to clean. Um, it's a vinyl cushion. It smells really nice in here actually with these cushions so we like these we might be doing more of them um, lagoon table like it is standard in our vans um, so in the 2021 and the 2022 would be the same for the 2023 Sienna we build up the floor a little bit as you can tell it's two levels and that's to deal with the trolleys that carry the second row seats there's a lot of questions about the second row seats are they removable are they not what about the airbags? It, the short answer is we can remove them. We put a resistor in to simulate the airbag and everything is okay. So in the living room, we got a lot of storage. Storage here, up in the front there. There's another storage compartment here. And actually in this van, that's where one of the Jackery batteries is. Storage here as well. So this is for things that you're not gonna need to get to quite as often. Uh, we got curtains in here, so right now the curtains are up. I'll show you what the passenger side curtain looks like because it is the one that has, well, one of two. The other slider has a screen on it as well. But when the curtain's fully snapped up, you can have it either open and have the screen exposed or you can close it up when you're ready for bed so that it's fully dark. Right here is the other switch that runs the LED lights. So it's mounted on the driver's side and you turn the switch and the LEDs come on. All right, I'm gonna step around to the passenger side and show you what the electrical system looks like. So the electrical system in this van is basically two Jackery batteries 
One of them is back here behind the curtain, and the other one is here to the front. So if we're checking this one out here, you've got AC outlets, DC outlets, input from the vehicle. So there's three ways to charge these batteries. One way is via the alternator. When the car is plugged in, we've routed two different plugs that can charge each of the batteries. So you can have both of them charging while you're driving, as well as solar, which we'll get to. I'll show you that on the roof. So Kristen has one jack, one uh, Renogy solar panel, 100 watts on the roof. And then she's going to have two portable Jackery panels as well, just to really cover all of her bases. Um, this here is a shore power outlet. So you've got two AC outlets and then some USB AC outlets as well. And this is routed to the back of the van right here. So if you're at a campground or somewhere with shore power, you plug in to the power right here and then it it provides these outlets with power so you can run high high uh, load appliances off of that um, the DC battery outlets here are powering the lights as well as this we boost signal booster so that's this device right in here and what this does is it'll take the existing cell signal and it will amplify it so that if you want to work on the road or you need to make a phone call, it'll give you extra bars essentially. So off of which you could create a hot spot. And there's an antenna on the roof that uh, we'll, I'll show you when we go up there to look at the solar. So what we did, we're going to take a look in this box here and you can see the electrical work that went into this. This is the fuse box for all of the DC appliances. And so you've got the two light zones as well as the Wii Boost, the signal booster. Um, off this battery, the fridge is also running off of the AC power. So this Jackery is kind of committed to the permanent appliances in the van, the lights, the signal booster, the refrigerator. And then this battery is committed to all the other things she might want to plug in while she's traveling. All right, we're going to take a look up on the roof now, and I'll show you what we did with the solar panel and the cargo box. So let's go over to the other side and take a look at that. All right, so up here we have an inno box. This is a nice sleep box. It'll fit skis. Um, it's mounted to Yakima crossbars. A company in Golden called Rack Attack put these tracks on the roof because this van didn't have roof rails. And the Yakima towers and crossbars mount to this. We've got a box up here um, that can, like I said, hold skis, hold luggage. And on top of the box is a solar panel. So normally we mount the panel right on the roof, but in this van we mounted the panel on top of the box so that it doesn't have anything potentially shading it. That's something that's an issue sometimes. If your panel has shade cast on it, it'll just decrease the efficiency of it all around. Um, this antenna here is the, for the signal booster. So this outer antenna picks up the signal sends it to an antenna inside the van and that's what gives you your amplified signal. One thing we didn't do before when we were looking in here is set up the bed. So I'm going to just go ahead and show you how the bed sets up in the van. All right, so first thing that you do is take the cushions off of the chair Take the bottom of the chair, flip it 90 degrees, place it between these cabinets. We gotta take the lagoon table apart. So we spin these ratchets. Pull this off. And this piece goes in here. right here pull 
pull the mattress across. And you've got your bed. I'm, I'm gonna scoot the front seat forward just a little bit to relieve some of that pressure on the mattress. There we go. Very comfortable. All right, so that's van number 67 from Oasis Camper Vans. We'll have the next one for you when we're finished up with it. Thanks.